Welcome, folks, to the Seven Wonders of Starbound, with me, Jamie, from Randomized User. And in this one, I thought we'd do something to do with water. Um, so we're above a little ocean planet. So I'll boom down. I haven't actually seen this planet yet. Australis Rift. Mate, Sheila's and Bonza. Right. So what I thought we'd do is um, do something to do with, um, like, fountains and waterfalls. I was thinking about this, and I... The only way to actually get like a water source in this game um, these days uh, is to use kind of like the background of water planets or arctic or lava or toxic. So I thought I'd take advantage of the... Oh, this is a nice big one. Yeah, this is a nice big area. Unfortunately, it's actually full of pricks. Uh, in fact, I know what we'll do. We'll go to a... We'll go to a smaller... We'll go back. We'll go to a smaller island just so we can test a couple of things out. But that'll look like a nice big area that we can do something with. But what I was thinking about doing is, let's just do it a bit of a dig down. Put some lights up. So we'll use the fact that if you puncture a hole in the background, you get a waterfall type stuff. And let's just get also, using the spawnable item pack. Let's also get some of the drains going on. So let's make a, let's make a hundred drains, because we'll, we might need a few. And if you put a few of these around, it will suck out the water. And once you've done that, you will actually have yourselves a little waterfall type thing. And it gets, in fact, let's put some more down there. And you can use the fact that it does kind of like do this proper water flowing thing to actually make, design a kind of like a potential thing. Like a fountain of some description. And then we'll make it kind of like, we'll have to make it, because we'll have to make it underwater, sort of underwater, we'll just like theme it along those lines, like um, an underwater fountain wonder. Uh, we'll probably call it something better than that, especially because it's called, it's in Australis. And um, we'll probably do some embarrassing attempt at some Australian type stuff at some point. We'll abandon that after two seconds, don't worry. But yeah, I think it's something like this. Um, obviously made into an actual wonder rather than, you know, like um, seven blocks. <laughs> and we'll make it like a, Underwater, so we have a, it's like a waterfall, fountain, it's sort of like a natural area. So this wonder might not be quite so built as the previous ones. It might be like, supposed to be like, look like it's a natural thing. We've had a ve some very kind of geometrical, geometric builds so far. So it'd be nice to have something a little bit more natural looking maybe. Although the fountain itself will probably end up being just, yeah, <laughs> very, very built. Like me. <laughs> not anymore. Let's get rid of some of these lads. These will get very annoying very quickly. At least they're not like those bloody blue floaty things. Oh, hello, bananas. I think Spoiler Ape likes these bananas. Oh, he's, he's welcome to them. There we go. A little chomp chomp. So I guess we just have to do a little bit of a dig down here. Now I've actually got the space worked out. So let's just, um, let's just destroy Mother Nature. And you. And you and all. So this day-night cycle isn't too ferocious this time. You're a little spitting thing, aren't you? Huh. Nasty. Oh! I think last time I was on an ocean planet, we ended up terraforming it into like a jungle and all sorts of stuff. I wonder if I could do the same here. Um, because desert planet, it doesn't really feel necessarily like a desert build, this. It feels like it should be something else. Um, so if we get a terraformer out for the lads... We could have a look to see what sort of terraformers there actually are. Terraforge? Oh yes, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Actually, there might be a, there might actually be a better way of doing this. Get them all out. Then we get the microformers as well. I think if you go into categories, ah, yeah, there we go. Mountainous? Oh, that'll turn it into a. That'll turn it into a very kind of um, um, grey green sort of thing. That might work. Uh, let's have a look. Floral uh, bug buggy. Oh, that's alien stuff. Rusty. Oh, rusty. That would have been useful for our previous build, which was chronologically uh, the stone, the space henge. A wild microformer overgrown wilderness. Hmm. That might work as well. Hang on, let's have a go with this one. Uh, let's make it daytime. And we could always double terraform if um, we don't like the, f the results first time round. I'll put it out of harm's way. 
Is this a microformer or a terraformer? What is a terraformer? Or is it? I actually thought it was a microformer, but yeah. We actually need to make some space for this. Alright. They don't like sharing. That is a, just a microformer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Now, I have a feeling these days that they're a lot quicker than they used to be. When I first used terraformers and made videos of them, they took a long time. Huh. Hmm. That's not really what I had in mind. Also, why is that some bloody hive? Right, you can sort off. I think maybe go back to the Arctic, um, the um, the mountainous idea. Don't want a jungle one. It's a mountainous microformer. Is it just this area? Maybe I want a, a full-on terraformer. Lush. A wooded tail so it would turn into a like, forest. It would all be very brown then. Which would be okay, but... I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for mountainous. Let's try again. Hopefully, he won't have destroyed everything. Terraform. Ooh, nice. Right, get rid of you. Once you've actually used it, might as well get rid of it. I should quite like this. Apart from the snow. The snow's not ideal. I'm uh, also spawning different sorts of things now. I think I can cope with these lads a bit better than the other, the spitty lads. Oh, it turns into it, <laughs> it turns into like a it still turns into a desert island over here because the microform is very small, very localized. Oh, I've still got snaily snail dude over there. God, this is such a weird bio mix, isn't it? But yeah, we'll do, we'll stick with this because this looks this. I think this feels like it's it'll be able to I'll be able to create a nice little sort of like a bubble of is it smoke. Oh, we discovered these these rocks produce smoke, or some of the rocks that you get in mountainous areas. Oh, so you get a nice little mountainous effect right here on this small desert island. Right, so what I'll do is I'll start digging out some space. I really don't want this. I don't really want there to be much snow involved in this. Uh, that's fine. Oh dear, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to cut down the tree. Oh well. Get rid of some of that. It'll despawn eventually, but never mind. So I don't know if it, what sort of background I want. I, don't, I really don't want it to be snow. But to be honest, that stuff... And those old trees. Um, this uh, mountain stuff might actually be the thing. If I just put it back where the snow was... Look, look at him having a bit of a spin. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about all this. So I, I want to kind of like a... A, a bowl or a bubble or something. Just like a, a nice area. I might even put a lid on it. So it's a kind of like an underground thing, primarily. So I'm, I'm not going to take out the background. The one thing I've got to remember is that the water level dictates where we can actually spurt our waters all over the shop. Which is kind of like here-ish. Just below there is where we can do it. So I don't really... I, I, I might as well put the roof on around here, because we don't want to go too high. We actually need, do need to do quite a lot of digging down. Otherwise... We're not going to get much of an impressive fountain because it's got to, as I say, it's got to start on this horizontal level around here and go down. So let's try and get nice big sizes going on. Thankfully, this is mostly grey background. This only starts to get snowy over here. Uh, but yeah, we. Oh dear, that was, <laughs> that was a bit sudden. Oh yeah, ha ha ha! Yeah, ooh. that's sort of dark and all. Uh, time warp. 400. Right, so we haven't actually... Okay, yes, I know we haven't done much building yet. Um, I'm supposed to do like a one-part episode. A uh, one-part wonder this time, but... I feel like I can already feel myself fannying. <laughs> fannying around like an idiot. So what we'll probably do is... Why didn't I just leave the top on and then just dig down and make it... Oh, I... I'm literally just putting back... What was already there, aren't I? God damn it! Well, we'll we'll probably like put some snow, or we'll plant some trees and everything. But what what I really want is it for it to be very kind of like a bit domular. Maybe we should put some glass there. No. But this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a just so like him. It looks like a normal everyday island type stuff, but there's there's a like a hidden wonder underneath or whatever. Probably need to make this a bit slopier. 
that could be the, the, like, the top of things, and then it'll go down. And it'll meet the grass over there. Let's go inside. I think I'll do. Let's get rid of a bit of background. And I guess... So I'm still 100% sure whether I actually want this as the background, but it is going to turn out... I guess it's going to turn out to be a bit of a cave. Yeah. Oh! Okay, that's now dark. Dark is the proverbial dicks. Not that that's actually a proverb. <laughs> I think it was from Aesop's Fables. And so we probably need to carve this out a bit more as well. And round here. And that's probably about the extent of it. So this can be the bottom. Oh, I've actually taken out the... I've put on my little marker, didn't I, for the, the level. It's still not going to be very big, because as I say, the, um, that that is going to happen. Um, so we do need it to go... We just need it to go quite low down. So, as I say, otherwise the, the wind is not going to be very wonderful. It's going to be f flat and shit, <laughs> frankly. The seven flattened shits of Starbound, this series would be called. We don't want that. We're actually getting rained on. I think there might be some... Oh, uh, yeah, it's raining outside, I think. Um... Ah. Get rid of some of that. And then we'll, um, we'll get rid of all this. Yeah, we don't want it to be actual snow. There we go. Something like that. Shall I take out this background? Hmm. Take out that. It's not going to have any war tool effects. War tool. War tool is a word. It's not a word. I don't, even, ugh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should bother taking it out. There's also all this gunk now as well. Let's get rid of it. Put yet more torches down. I feel like I'm still only prepping the build at the moment. Oh god, there's all that and all. Well, okay. Let's actually, instead of all this, um, instead of all this drain nonsense, we should probably put on a flat floor. Let's get rid of that. First of all, we do want this to be another layer of Arctic rock, or the grassy rock. Get rid of that. And there we have it. So, do I want to... Yeah, I think I do want to a bit a slightly more thicker. I was going to put some dirt down, and I thought, well, why? <laughs> Frankly. So I think the fountain will be kind of... Star here. I think uh, fountains... I've got some, where's that titanium? I've got some titanium. I don't want mirror blocks. I thought about using that, but no. I think mirror blocks are a bit prickish. I think they're a bit... They're, they're too continuous. These ones are like squares. Each one's each each tile is its own little square, but with mirror blocks, you don't get the um, the dividing bits. I don't think it look very good for the what we want. So I don't know what we're going to do. I think the actual main part of the fountain... I mean, this will... I'll take out the background here and replace it. We want it as a, like a little swimming pool sort of thing. Um, make it a bit thicker. Uh, this is always a stage of the build where I think this is going to be so bad. Uh, but so far in this series, I think I've pulled it off every single time. Uh, much to my um, surprise, especially with Space Eng. I came out really well in the end. I a, when I loaded this up to actually start filming again, I was already I was I was back in Space Engine. It felt like really good. It actually looked like a proper thing, rather than something I threw together. Um, right, yeah, that was annoying me. Oh, there's all this and all. Uh, right, come on. I'm not sure what I'm pressing now. Um, get rid of that. All that horrible snow. Right, so this is going to end up being a, a small swimming pool. Obviously, at the moment, it's a bit... Uh, I'm, going to have to, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and take all this out. It's just... In fact, I did say, didn't I? Right, what we'll do, I'll take out all this. This is going to be very underwatery. And then we can put in the titanium background. I think this does look kind of a weird sort of like a 1970s swimming pool sort of... art, de Almost like an Art Deco sort of feel to it. Oh, the, there goes one of the torches. And then I can put in this. Although, to be honest, because as we build up the fountain, this all the background may end up being this material or something like this. I think now we've actually designated... Oh, piss. Now we've designated this as the definite um, 
swimming poorly type thing. I am actually going to put in a few drains. In fact, I'll put in a lot of drains and then take some of them out later, I think. I don't really want it to be all wet all over the shop all the time. Oh, there we go. Also, a couple of bonus drains. I think I actually placed something down there. I'm 100% sure I did. One down there. Yeah, that should do the trick. Oh, I actually left a bit. Donk. No, I haven't. Right. So, it... Is this going to be... This is... I don't really want this to be like... Um, I don't want the fountain to be just the, the entire build in this one. Um, I'm going to keep it quite small, but I want the entire thing, I want the entire region to be all part of it. So, I'm actually having to build quite a lot of different random stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do this again. <laughs> it's just, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. Or I'll just keep on doing it. Oh, it would be awful. It'd just, I keep on having to do it later on, and yeah, blah, blah, frankly. I really could do it with a bigger paintbrush for this sort of thing. I think there's mods you can use. I mean, there's mods you can use for everything, but I want to keep it at least... So it's not just, I don't turn this into purely like a painting exercise. I do want to make it so it's still a bit of a let's play type situation. Right, that's more like it. There's a bit of missed bits here and there, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So it's going to be, as I say, it's going to be a bit of a cave. I think we've actually got an extra bit there. So maybe we'll, we'll actually have a waterfall, actually, as well as the fountain. Also, I probably want some trees. Plant some under underground trees. Like we 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 saw that in the um uh, the golden hub, whatever the hell I call that. And I think it might be a good idea to actually plant some downstairs trees as well. There's still more bloody stuff that I haven't got rid of. There we go. So let's try some here. I'm not quite sure. This may need some dirt planting. Um, let's put that in my hot bar there. I don't think I can. We'll see. Let's see if I can actually place. Uh, these stuff directly down. Seemingly not. Well, I suppose it could be. There could be a bit of dirty. I mean, it's it's not ideal. I'm wondering if there's a um, there's an equivalent. Can, can you put it in snow? I'm literally just experimenting here. Oh, that's slush. We don't want slush. That's some snow. Can I put tree? plants in snow. Yes. Right. Okay, so all that snow I took up, I'm going to have to <laughs> put it back down again now. Yeah, because I don't really want dirt. I mean, dirt just looks incongruous. Uh, which is Latin for shit. <laughs> right, um, okay. Snow. Just put that into my... That's more slush. Bloody hell, I've slush for days. Put some snow into there. So, I won't ever get these two confused, I promise. Right. Snow. Huh. Maybe we should put more snow down. <laughs> well, that answers that question. Yes. I will. Just so it doesn't look like a, a, an artificially placed layer that I just bunged on. Um, okay, I'll leave it like that, actually. Right, so yo, and yo, and yo. I'm not sure what they are. Let's, um, let's speed up time. Oh, it's a piss. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want a palm tree. I'm supposed to be getting, like, a pine tree. Oh. Right, hang on. Right, so there's the um actually there's a coconut. Right, so there's a sapling. That's a bad sapling. Get rid of the sapling. Right, these two lads may actually be the ones we want. First of all, let's get rid of that. Give them some space. Time warp. Oh, these are more bastard things than all. Oh, poopy. Maybe I didn't actually get any um saplings for this. Well, Fine. So those... In fact, that looks like it must be one. In comparison. It looks... A, it's a different graphic and everything. Yes, here we go. Hmm. 
How, how did that torch get there? That's really strange. Oh, you can't... Ah. So, for some reason, I mean, the torch was obviously in the background, and then the tree grew, and then... So that's the only way you can possibly do that. It actually looks quite cool, because it actually does look like it's hanging off the tree. Interesting. Might try that again. Wasn't there another thing here? Oh, I... Anyway, let's um try this other one. Let's place it underneath this torch and see what happens. Yep, we've got another one. I actually quite like that. It's quite fun. In a kind of really tiny sort of way. Yeah. So I'm thinking about having some sort of waterfall that comes down here. I want to be careful with the, um, the fish axe at the moment because I don't want to end up breaking the tree. But if the water came down here and then kind of pulled here in a another sort of natural formation, I've got to be very careful. Have a nice little... Oh, shit! Ah, that was very close. But we have a pool here. Um... Just give us some light. Oh, that sort of helps. <laughs> in kind of not, not in the slightest sort of way. And hop. And so the water will come down here into the pool, and then at the bottom of the pool there'll be like one drain, and maybe that'll be enough. Actually, we can't have the waterfall up here though, can we? Because of the water level. Ah, that's a good point. God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. actually unleash it, but well, maybe I'll maybe I'll leave it. Anyway, it's not really impressive as a waterfall, is it? Okay, hang on. Well, have it there. Now let's try it. I'm not sure if Terraria Terraria's waterfalls are better. They probably are, aren't they? For this sort of thing, this this would have been better in Terraria. And, well, it's not really filling up properly, because the drain is possibly not exactly the right spot. Let's put it, put the drain, in fact, the drain should actually go near the top, shouldn't it? Um, so it only drains when it's overflowing. In fact, there's actually probably too much. Maybe it's a bit too much. No, that's not going to help. Hmm. This is just way too much, isn't it? And also, I don't know why. I don't know. I'm not not 100 percent sure if this is a good idea because it just seems. I wanted it to be a waterfall, not a water, not like a rapids river type thing. But we can't really go any higher than this, which is annoying. And we can't really go much lower than this because then we hit the. I don't know. Maybe if we do carve it out a bit more. So I'm trying to turn it into more of a waterfall now. So there's a bit good splash pool at the bottom, but it's a bit weedy. Hmm. There, I think we've increased the flow a bit. Is that okay? That might be okay. Doesn't seem to want to actually do any more than that. Oh, there we go. There's a bit more. But now it does seem to be a little, possibly a little much. Let's say, let's let's try and stem the flow a bit down here. That'll hopefully level it out a little bit more. Is that too much? Hmm. It's okay, but it's still still actually going down, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Take that out there. Place it a bit to the left. See if that controls the flow a bit better. It sort of levels off a bit more now. It doesn't seem to be going any, going, going any lower than that. I'm trying to work out whether I should make this into a little bit of a cave area, but I think I think not. I think I'll just do it like that. So I've got a sort of a waterfall there. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should actually take it through to the outside, just give it a bit more reason. I don't know. Let's get rid of all that. Just 
I think I should, um, okay, we'll probably build up the fountain a bit more now. Because I think I'm fanning around with this too much already. I'll just probably put one more kind of thing down here. Did I actually go down there? Might not be able to put it there when it's underwater. Um, is, that, is that the case? Can you simply not put it underwater? It's just not letting me put it on the snow. Maybe it's not snow. Uh, maybe it's, maybe I actually put down slush. Yeah, I think it's that's slightly different, isn't it? There we go. That's more like it. Go there. And then we're back doing that. And quickly just do the time warp again. Oh, the torch is a bit too high up, but never mind. I do like, like that little glitch. Right, so I'm just trying to try and work out exactly what we should do here. Um, still feel like we... I don't really want to take all the background out yet. I feel just try and design this. So how is it, how am I going to do it? Is, is it just going to be... Hmm. I mean, it could do it. Hang on, let's take this out again. Because a classic fountain will just, like, have the source right at the top and it'll just, like, tumble down without really much in the way of stuff. But I kind of like the idea of having little bowls. Um, just several little bowls. Let's try and put it, like, there-ish. Maybe, like, statues standing on top of the bits. Oh, yeah, hang on. That went rogue. Uh -huh. Try and make it. I'll I'll make it a bit more kind of like designed at some point, so it's just not, not so just like really kind of blunt looking buckets. Uh, so what I could do is have um. That's gonna have to go. Um, I want to make it so like there's a bit of a overlap. Like that. So I'm just not quite sure how um. Uh, uh, good the water's going to be. So this is going to look a bit... Hmm. In it. <laughs> right, so... Where's the water level? Oh, I can't even see over there. I have to experiment, I think. Hmm. This is way too high. It still only can go to here. No, this is... There, that's just... Uh, there. See, it's just not... tall enough. I mean, if that's where the top is, it's just not going to be very... wonderful. So I'm playing around with statues and stuff like that. Um, this... Still not going to be the biggest thing in the world, but th that's where the source is there in the bottom left. Um, so that'll probably be enough for like a basic statue fountain situation type thing. It won't be, won't be huge. I'm trying to think of ways of making it a bit more kind of um, say designed a bit more. So it's just not like lots of painted blocks on here. And let's try. I really wish there was marble pillars in this. We've got to stick with this sort of thing. A small pillar. Actually, what is that? I think these are just decorative bits and bobs. Ancient pillar. I'm not sure. Oh, that's um. Yeah, that's. We're not supposed to have that. I think this is um. This is actually a proper block. I might have even got some of these already. Ooh, hang on. What if these are actually going to look? I'm, I'm actually turn these into um. Uh, Something that looks like it actually might have any have some use. It looks okay, actually. I've just torn it all down. But... Well, that might work if we have lots of those. That was a, was it a small pillar or a tall pillar. I can't remember now. Let's just make a hundred of each. 
And maybe some broken as well for colour. Uh, this is actually a, is a rather cool statue, and I want to use a lot of them. So this is a regular stone pillar. What's well, the small one look like then? Ooh, wow, that's tiny. Well, that, that might, actually, might actually be useful for part of this. What's this? A big flower statue? Oh, that's terrible. Look at that. <laughs> Piss off. So, if we have these dotted around at intervals... Like that... That's not quite spread out correctly. And there's... These are a bit closer together, aren't they? Right. So it's every... Th sort of every three. Looks like there's a drain in the way there. Almost fits. I mean, this is not 100% symmetrical, but... Sod off. Anyone who complains. <laughs> Frankly. So we have something like this. Still not, still not 100% sure that these are the best blocks to use. I don't really want to have to end up... Oh no, that's no good. Just <laughs> uh, there's a site. Uh, we're, we're going to have to extend this a bit. Let's put this here first before we do anything else. Let's put that there. Then we can actually judge everything. Actually get everything a bit nicer. I have to get rid of some of the background, which means chaos again. Uh, that goes to there. And then we need it to finish up about there. Like that. Background can be that. And then we fill that up nicely. Oh, that's already filled up with water. That's good. There we go. So I'm trying to think of a way of making this a bit more, as I say, not just like look like a bubble bubble level. <laughs> There's one for the teenagers. Uh, there's got to be something I can use. I'm not going to use screws. Um, I could have turned this into like a completely different sort of build, like with instead of using white stuff. I want to keep it. Yeah, I want to keep it like marbly. Um, we'll probably have to have something that makes it all linked together here, because I want these to all look like they're part of the same. Uh, thing, about the same sort of platformy type thing. So what I thought I'd do, instead of um, I, I tried a few different materials. I even tried bloody rusty panel, um, just like in a couple of other builds. Um, but instead, I thought, well, just I don't have all these kind of like weird bowl things, and just go like this instead. Um, like this. So it's going to be a almost like a pling, plinketa, or no, <laughs> plinko board thing of me, Bob. Uh, sort of. <laughs> Not even slightly. Uh, that can, obviously, all this nonsense up here can go. All these bloody torches as well. So I'll go up like that. And like that's about like that. And another one up here. That should be quite interesting to see how this actually works. Let's um, let's punch out. Could have just one more in the middle. Does that symmetrate? No, it doesn't. <laughs> symmetrate. Um, let's punch. Yeah, just let's just do a practice little punch. Ooh. Oh, that's quite cool. That does actually work weirdly. And let's get. I think I took my drains out of my thing. There we go. This is actually filling up a bit too much, so we'll have to just um, work out what is the optimum amount of drainage. Yeah, it's getting, it gets a bit weird in the middle, doesn't it? Although it's actually still finding its level, I think. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's, it's still ugly as hell, and we're, we're still very early days and everything, but um, I think we're slightly onto something, finally, after messing around for so long. And so, I mean, I'll, obviously, I'll, I'll, in the next episode, I'll completely... I'll, I'll change the backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, we'll actually make it into, a, like, a proper 
place to actually come and visit, so to speak. There's, there's pl still plenty to be done. I'm not quite sure what we'll do about all this. This is a bit piss. Uh, so is this. So is that up there. But we'll turn it into something. Um, interesting to see how this turns out, because this one's a bit different, I think. Feels very different so far, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll put this up again in the next episode. Hopefully this will turn out good. Uh, leave your comments, uh, because um, I'll wait I'll wait to see the, this to go out before I film the next one. And we'll try and work something out together, and it'll all be grand. Cool, okay, so uh, see you next time. Bye for now.